Greg and Pepper. All right, this one be a fun one today, Justin. Okay. This is from Halogi Hot Sauce. It's called Gun Blobs Gold. And they, they always do it. It's like, I think it's like Viking theme. I was going to say, they, they're the Viking yeah. hot sauce company, correct? Nor Norse. Nordic. Norse Nordic themed. I remember the, I've uh, done videos with you with them. Yes, they they make great sauce. And oh. so uh, I reference them all the time. My buddy Charlie from the For Love of Hot Sauce group. He's been a really good friend of mine. I've actually never met Char my buddy Charlie in real life, but we talk all the time. Anyways, he, all right, the sauce got sent to me and it looks very interesting. And I'm meant to be getting to it. And then Charlie messaged me and he was like, dude, you gotta get on the sauce. I could like drink it out of the bottle. And I'm like, all right, I'm on it. And then I was like, hey, this morning, because every dessert sauce I freaking try, it's always way more savory, even though I think it's gonna be sweet. And I said, Charlie, is this gonna be a dessert sauce? And he's like, yeah, I think it's gonna be a dessert sauce. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I've got a specific item I'm gonna try it on that you guys don't know about yet. And uh, do you think it's gonna be good? And he said, yes. So if we're if, 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 if Charlie's wrong, it's on you, buddy. This is all on you. No it's longer just, friends if he's I know. Wrong. I'm gonna just... freaking disown the man. <laughs> And in friendships. I, I know. I, he's got a lot of opinions, and I really I trust his opinion. Anyways, okay. Halogi hot sauce. Gun Lod's gold. It's got scotch bonnets in it. Super happy. Your favorite. Bonnets. My all-time favorite pepper in the whole world. Okay, the story. <clears throat> Buckle in, people. All right. The giantest, the giantess gun load protected a legendary mead, which is, you know what mead is? Nope. It's fermented, um, it's honey that you dilute with water and then you um, add yeast to it. I do know so what it's mead alcohol, is. So it's alcoholic, I do like know honey mead liquid, basically. Uh, mead that, with just one sip, turned anyone into a masterful poet. With a wink and a kiss, Capricious Odin tricked poor Gunload and stole every drop of the golden draft before fleeing to Asgard, where it remained for untold eons until now. Peach and passion fruit pair with wildflower honey atop aromatic buena mulata and scotch bonnet peppers for a bittersweet flavor to complement salads, soft white cheese, seafood, and more. I think the, I'm hoping the and more is going to be appropriate for this sauce. For what we have here yes. in front of us that you don't know about. There may be there may be some truth in this little fable. Behold a sauce so good you'll eat the table. That was a lot. It was. Okay. Good story though. Yes. So I love their labels. And the like the color purple on the label I think is great. The gold, the gold lettering. So you've got three out of five on the pepper scale here. So a sixty percenter. Well, you know, I'm just I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. It's got the easy pull tab, which I'm I'm going, yeah, to, I'm, to, I'm going to embrace right now. You don't have to pull that knife out. I don't got to pull that knife out that I haven't sharpened yet. Yet I'm, it's, I, I'm still, I'm not, I'm not recovered from that yet. Neither but, am I. Dude, it was so bad. It's so, it makes me, it makes me sad. Look, it's right here. It makes me sad. I'm just going to set it right there. Okay. The ingredients in this sauce are very small and hard to read. Colorado peaches, passion fruit, South Dakota wildflower. I like how he's getting very regional with this. Ooh, right. Uh, honey, buena mulata pepper. I don't know what pepper that is. White wine vinegar, orange juice, lime juice, scotch bonnet peppers, mash, scotch pe pepper mash, which is peppers, vinegar, salt, pure, and, and then pure vanilla extract. It's a good list. It's a great list. A, now, scotch bonnet's pretty low. I, yeah, it is pretty low. So I, I don't think it's gonna be the hottest sauce in the world, but okay, I don't know what a, a buena mulata pepper is though. Me either. Hold on. We can figure it out. Look at that freaking pepper! Yeah, it is. Okay, I gotta show you guys. I'm, not, I'm just gonna put it up on the screen right here. Look at this! Look at this freaking pepper! It's on Justin's face. You can't see him. Pepper's better looking. Tell me the heat. It might not have any heat. It it freaking better. Thirty to fifty thousand. So it's up there. That's pretty. It's, I mean, no. I mean, habanero is three hundred fifty thousand. Well, I mean, but I mean, it's not a jalapeno. What they say, what it's seven thousand or something yeah, like so, that. Yeah. So I mean, okay. So. We're, this is a flavorful pepper, not a hot pepper. Like yeah. Scotch bonnets, we're talking two hundred fifty to three hundred, like right around the the habanero realm. Um, okay. So they're saying like, okay, soft cheeses, salad. Okay, I guess I can see that. Like it's still going sweet. I mean, they, there are a lot of sweet like. Like salad dressings and stuff like that. But he, in his recommendations, he did not say anything about dessert in there. So Charlie, you're not looking good here, buddy. No, not looking good. No. I think this is gonna work really well. It smells really delicious. It's got a tang. It's got like a, there's vinegar to it. It's that some, it's, pour. It's, yeah, that that looks awesome. Where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? That pour was perfect. Yeah, this is a beautiful looking sauce. I love all the seeds. Woo! It's also a little warm too. Does it? Yeah. Uh oh. I get the vinegar and then I get a I get a little bit of a pepper smell. Oh, yeah? Ooh, I can see pepper skins. Yeah. Very vinegar like vinegar is the first smell for sure. It might be the fruit juice. It just smell like it might be like just like acid, like citric like acid. It is it is a little a little citric 
smell. You do. It might be like you might be translating like um like uh, like literally the peaches, the passion fruit, like the where's the uh the freaking uh, lime juice. There's orange and lime juice. Like that might be what the you're lime juice too. might be what I'm smelling. You know, I don't smell any peach or anything. No, but it's so subtle. Mm. I think it's gonna work well. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna find out. Cheers. Sweet, sweet, honey. Kind of warm. It's got some kick. <laughs> kind of warm. Got a little kick to it. That is really good. Yeah, the seeds have that like a little. It has like bite to it. I think it literally says this on here too. Dental warning. Yeah. Contains hard seeds from passion fruit. Yep. And I mean, like they they crunch. Oh, like, absolutely! I was shocked by it. There's but... a literal crunch yep. to this sauce. This is that's awesome. incredible. Um. I get all the flavors. Yep. I get passion fruit. I get peach. Peach up front for me, then the passion fruit. And like the the I'm citrus, like the more. orange and the lime citrus, like that beats out the uh, like the, um, the vinegar. Yeah. You know? uh, the vinegar didn't really stand out for me at all. No, no, no. I no, the sweetness like overpowered. And I even get the honey, man. The honey, you really get it in the texture yeah, too. Yeah, dude. Like the texture of the honey. Like think about like the honey adds like a creaminess almost to it. like. Yeah, that's really good. The honey does stand out, and it, it really adds to the texture. And then you got the passion fruit seeds in it, which add that nice little crunch and body to it. It's so it, it's such a bright sauce. Yeah, like highly acidic sauce in a mm -hmm. good way. Like it's so bright. Yeah. Okay. Now that is going to complement the contrast of the banana bread that I made. So if you saw my video earlier this week, this is the very last slice of banana bread, and it is a very delicious banana bread. I'm going to cut it in half. We each get our own piece. Um, so the, the only thing that's spicy on the on the banana bread are these two little bananas that are on there. Everything else is more definitely on the mild side. Well, actually, it's it's the 100% mild. Like nothing else is hot in it. Not terrible. No. Oh, it's got pecans on top. Yeah, load it up, man. That's your piece. You do whatever you want to do. That is the way to do that, sir. And the nice drizzle pours well, holds well. Yeah, it's great. Pretty excited about this. I'm very excited about this. All right, let's see how it goes. I love a good banana bread. All right, cheers. Yep. Yep, that is the way to do that. Mm -hmm. I didn't think the bananas were really going to stand out as much as they do, but they still stand out a lot. It's like a very contrasty experience. Mm -hmm. Like this would work awesome on like, um, imagine an English muffin with some butter and this sauce. Like I think that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Put a freaking toast. Like, so many breakfast. Oh god, this is. I'm cherishing this. This is. A, this is a very special <laughs> it's sauce. Good. It is. It's, it's so it. freaking good. Yeah. I'm adding more. I need another bite. You I, think I'm, I think I'm gonna add a little more, John. We're gonna go through this. You enough. need like a lot of sauce. <clears throat> We're like gonna go through this in this video. I was gonna stop, but I don't want to. Like, I'm gonna eat it all. Like, I'm sorry, people. I'll cut around it, but I'm eating it all. None can go to waste. No, this is incredible. The contrasting flavors work so well together. Mm. And like I even just got I still get the seed bite. Really it good. works in a way that like it's like like the reason that pie works. Yeah. You know, like the like the difference between like a buttery crust and a pie filling and like why pie rules. That's why this sauce. I mean, works and so this well. could even work on pies. It could be a pie. Like, <laughs> just bake it. If you made a berry pie and put this, the whole bottle of it in the filling, this would be like the best thing. That's what I was thinking a blueberry pie, like that on it would be so good. This is... It's special. Top three mm. best dessert sauces I've ever had. I agree with that. Um, I completely agree with all his recommendations, even though he didn't say dessert. Add dessert to the label, please. Um, like on, with cheeses? With a salad dressing? A is salad it? dressing would really work. This would be so like, good like with a, a salad dressing. I, I like, uh, there's a cranberry Sonoma salad that I really like, and like that would work well with like the cranberries and stuff like that. Not uh, the band, the salad. I can see it working with seafood, like this with some char. Man, this is a special, special it's, sauce. It's, uh, it's very versatile. It sucks that this is limited edition. Apparently the passion fruit is very hard to like source, like fresh passion fruit for this. And so that's the issue. So it's limited edition. He actually emailed me yesterday, and he was like, "I just want to let you know that if you're playing, so <coughs> you know if you're planning on doing a video, it's like half gone. So <laughs> I don't want you to do a video and then like and all the, and all the sauce like, is gone. Oh crap! <laughs> and all the sauce is gone. So um, jump on this. It's got a lot of different applications. Um, oh, but it's incredible. Banana bread works. 
pie is gonna work. I think it goes dessert and breakfasty. Like I put this on top of anything. So, I could jump. Super good. Okay. In the description below is gonna be a link to Hologi Hot Sauce so you can check them out. Yeah, this is killer. Yep. So freaking good. This is probably my favorite sauce that they've made. And also a link to everything Justin's doing. Justin's a wonderful guy. Thank you very much for joining. See you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.